Okay, so we are going to start learning about Google Docs. Now, Google Docs can be used to talk about all the different types of um, programs you can use in Google. But specifically for us right now, I'm talking about Google Docs, the part of Google Apps that create documents, okay? Word processing documents. So word processing is a document that you type, you can format. It's what we're, we're used to using, okay? It's this type of screen where we have this big blank document, right? So what I just did, very quickly, we'll go back and take a look. You're going to start in your drive, and you're going to go to New, Google Doc. Okay, so choose New, Google Doc. First thing we want to do, in any program like Word or Microsoft Works or if you use a Mac, Pages, anytime you create a document, you always want to save it and name it first. Now, Google saves automatically for us, but it does not name things for us. So if we look up in the right or upper left-hand corner where it says Untitled Document, we're going to click or double-click or however to get this selected. So we want Untitled Document Selected. And you're going to type Lesson 1.1 and hit Enter. Okay. At this point, if you know this will be a favorite, you can click the star, okay? Um, you can move it. We're not going to worry about putting it anywhere just yet, um, but you can move it from here, okay? A um, couple other things to note before we get started. This area here where it says File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Tools, these are the menu items. Okay. These buttons down here are the commands. Okay, so our items across the top are the menu items. These buttons are the commands. Now, the thing with the menu items, when you click the menu, you get options. Pretty cool. The options make sense to the menu. With the, with the commands, they are grouped together. So, you know, the bold, italic, underline, these are formatting buttons or commands, and they're grouped together. And the other thing you might notice is as you hover your mouse, you'll see not only what the button or what the command does, but the shortcut highlight color, insert a link, center, write a line. Okay, so if you're ever asked to center the document or center a title and you don't know what command to use, if you hover your mouse, you'll see. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna have you type a title, Lesson 1.1, and hit Enter twice. Then I want you to type one new thing I learned about Google Drive is and then I want you to finish the sentence. The next thing you're going to type. Something about Google Drive, I am still wanting to know about is and finish the sentence so let's see is there something else about google drive that you would like to learn about is there maybe a tool that you saw in the drive but we didn't talk about it and you're curious
Now, if you don't have anything that you want to know, it's okay. Just tell me if you do, because then I can go through and, and I can um, cover some other things. And the last one could also be optional. Something that wasn't covered. But I know is. So what, what you'll write or what you'll type here is let's say that there's something about Google Drive that you know or that you use that I didn't cover. Like maybe there's some tool that you like or some menu item that you like that you use and I didn't talk about that. So if there's a tip or a trick that you have, let me know and then I can make sure I spread the word. Now again, these two you may not have any answers for, okay? And that's okay. This is a brand new thing to a lot of people. So once you're done, what we're going to do is there are a lot of different ways to get somebody a copy of your file, okay? Um, if it's through Google Classroom. You can always submit things to Google Classroom if that's the instruction. Um, but in this case, we're actually going to share the document. Okay, so sharing is one of the huge things involved in Google Classroom, okay, it's, or excuse me, Google Docs. It's one of the best features about it is you can collaborate and you can share. So what we're going to do is before you share anything, double check that you named it right, make sure everything looks good, and in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see a button called share and we're going to click it. So what's going to happen here is a couple things. There's a button here that says get shareable link. So if you want to just send somebody a link to your document, you could do that like in an email or whatever. If you don't want a link, you can actually type the person's name into this box. Now, the account I'm using here for the sample isn't connected to the school district, so I don't think this is going to work the same. Um, but what you're going to do, so what you're going to do is you're going to type in my name, Jolene Anzalone, and it's not showing here, but what's going to happen for you is it's going to predict and you'll see a box pop up below that has my name in it. And you're going to choose my name. The next thing that's going to happen, now I'm going to put my email address in so you can see the next part. Again, you type my name in. It should look like this for you now, okay? This is what will pop up down below, okay? You can always add more people. You can type a note, it's not necessary. But the next important thing before you start sending anything is this button right here. We'll click the drop down. And you can see the different options. Now, when you share this file, do you want the person to edit? Do you want the person to be able to comment? Or do you want the person to view? Which option do you want? Okay, editing means they can change anything. They can delete what you put. They, they can change it all. Comment means they can just add little comments off to the side. And view means they can only look at it. So I want you to choose view. And hit send. You'll see at the top, it says shared with one person. If you're unsure, like let's say you, you said to yourself, oh, did I share with the right person? Was it the right ands alone? I don't know. Here's how we can check it. If I click share again, one place you can look is right down here. It says shared with Jolene Anzalone Becker Middle School. So you know it's the right person. 
But let's say this is the wrong person. Let's say you're like, this is not who I want. There's a little button in the bottom corner called advanced. Click advanced. Now, this isn't just for if you added the wrong person. You can go to advanced whenever you want. Okay, some people like working in advanced. Bunch of information here. You get the link that you could send someone. You can send the, the link out on Twitter, email, all different kinds of options. And then you'll see who is connected to the document. So if we look right here, this is my sample account. And it says, I am the owner. That means I have full control. I can delete the entire document if I want. Then here's me. So this is the teacher, it's me, and it shows that I can view. I can change my options here. So if you decide that you want me to view and then you change your mind and want me to comment, you can change it here. The only thing you don't usually want to do, once in a while you'll do this, but usually you do not want to make somebody else the owner. Once in a while you want to do that. If you don't want this person to be shared with anymore, you click the X. If you want to add somebody, you type their information in here. Couple other things um, down below. Prevent editors from changing access and adding new people. So if you add somebody as an editor, they can actually add other people, which means you could have people on your document that you don't want on your document. So be very careful. If you want to make sure that you're the only one in complete control, you'll want to click this button. Okay. Disable options to download, print, and copy. So maybe you don't want people that are viewing it to be able to print it. These are just options that help get you like a stronghold on your document. So close that up and you're done with the first lesson.